Good morning, Satnam. Happy Sunday. We are on day 21. According to Deepak Chopra, 21 days is all it takes to create a new habit. According to Kundalini Yoga, it takes 40 days to establish a new habit, which I tend to agree with Kundalini Yoga philosophy. 21 days would not be enough. If I stop after today, would you be able to continue? Um, maybe, maybe. Uh, for me, it takes longer to really solidify into a new habit. So thank you for being flexible. Thank you for being here at a different time. And Monday, we will also, let's see, 10. Monday will be around 10.15. So I just like recall my schedule. Okay, let's bring our hands together. Let's tune in and then we'll begin. Let's deeply inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release the shoulder blades down the back. Push all the breath out. Inhale deeply, lifting the gaze up to the brow point. Suspending the breath at the top, setting your intention for today, for the week ahead, whatever you'd like. And exhale. Let's inhale deeply to tune in. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Jugad Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, Deep Inhale, Engage the Mula Band, suspend the breath. And exhale, relax. Satnam. Okay, so uh, those of you who have been doing this for 21 days know the drill. For anyone who is just newly watching or tuning in, we're doing three minutes fists of anger. Thumbs are coming on the mercury mound. Other fingers wrap around the thumb. It's a backward stroke with a breath of fire through the O-shaped mouth. We want to make sure that women on menstrual cycle or pregnant beyond first trimester. Uh, do this exercise with a long deep breath instead. Eyes are closed, focusing at the brow point. Today I'm inviting you to hold a gentle root lock as you do that. Um, so that way you're still kind of consolidated. Because to me, it's very symbolic when we're in our body, when we're connected to our core, uh, then we're less prone to get side swiped in the reactivity of things that are happening. Um, so just experiment with that. It seems to make sense to me. So just try it out and just hold not an intense root lock, but just gentle as you do this exercise. Okay, so here we go. We start with the breath. Mudra is ready. Going with the O-shaped mouth. Really pulsing the navel. And let's begin.
Go at your own rhythm, go at your own pace, but make the movement and the breath rhythmic and powerful. your even exhales and inhales keep them even in strength and length last 30 seconds Inhale through the O-shaped mouth, interlace your fingers, stretch the arms overhead, palms facing up. Pull the root lock, suspending that breath, keeping the gaze at the third eye. Cannon breath out. Two more times. Relax your hands on your lap or on your knees in the Mudra. Close your eyes, go within. And just notice your breath, notice how you feel. Notice the sensation in your body. You are not those sensations. You are not your thoughts. Connect to that silent observer. And let's take a few deep inhales together. Inhale deeply. A sigh on exhale. At your pace. And when you're ready, you may gently open your eyes. Okay. That is good and short. Take a little bit of water if you need to. All right. 
so moving on to our meditation to activate the reflex with the suspension of the breath that's what you're doing is you're activating that reflex that kind of stops you in your tracks um, when you have to respond to a situation in a or challenging situation or whatever situation in a in a different way perhaps different way from the usual patterns that you have done uh, what came up for me yesterday is the fact that um, sometimes we kind of play a role in this life and uh, what I was reflecting on and this meditation of course is bringing up the shadow parts of us things that we try to hide uh, things that we keep secret from others. It's the facade that we put on. It's like the face, the public face. And what I was reflecting on is that, um, I don't know, maybe about three years ago, uh, I was introduced to an ice cream parlor called Happy Cow uh, that had like frozen yogurt and stuff. And me being the fitness professional, uh, it, it felt awkward going into the ice cream parlor and every time we would go as a family with you know my boys my husband uh, we would run into this person that used to be a member of the CrossFit uh, box where I trained and uh, I worked there and I also trained there and it's uh it's a casual ex exchange. It wasn't. I was like. It wasn't like I was robbing a bank, right? I was just having a life, going to have some ice cream, uh, because even as trainers, we gotta live too and enjoy life. Um, but it it was for a few moments. It felt a little awkward, and uh, okay. And then the the subsequent several times we kept running into each other in the, in the parlor and she too felt um, you know funny about it we kept saying like okay this is I guess the new CrossFitters uh, place to meet um, so it's it's one of those things where we hold ourselves back because we don't want people to think you know anything or um, it just generally when some of us sometimes preoccupied what people will think about about us about our actions uh, you know kind of like I wouldn't be caught going to McDonald's not that I do but you know 2020 brought the discovery of Chick-fil-a for <laughs> my family uh, I've never eaten Chick-fil-a before in my life and uh, I was babysitting two boys um, and I decided to take him to Chick-fil-A. Well, uh, when I ordered food for my son too, who was with me, uh, he was claiming how good it was and I had a little bite and I was really impressed. And so now we occasionally indulge in Chick-fil-A. Uh, not a bad thing on occasion, right? It's, it, it happens uh, what you do, overdo it. So think of those things, reflect of those things that you do or that you have about you that you kind of don't want the world to know or feel awkward about it you know we, when we have that a lot um, my mom for example was brought up after she got married uh, she was told never to leave the house without makeup on and think about that and uh, so to her looking all made up is very important very important uh, if she doesn't have makeup on uh, she feels low not good about herself you know uh, and I myself was also a huge fan of makeup and when I began my Kundalini Yoga journey uh, it, it was believed that what do you what do you make up for what what do you make up for what do you what do you cover what what do you do and I went through this phase of uh, embarrassment going out without makeup and it took quite an adjustment to to do that um, so those are the some examples I wanted to share with you that is little things that we are either raised with a thought or belief and then we have to reassess 
is that belief still serving us or is it still hindering us there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup absolutely nothing wrong with it I just feel that Kundalini Yoga taught me to embrace my natural beauty and have makeup not completely plastering and changing who I am but perhaps accentuating things that I want to accentuate um, so I'm just gonna leave you with that uh, as you explore your own um, shadow parts and we'll begin our meditation today again we'll be using metronome for just one minute so that you get that rhythm kind of ringing in your in your mind uh, but then I will silence it and then allow you to connect with your breath and your own suspension okay so you guys know the drill hands are on the chest all fingers together eyes are closed nine tenth make sure you are sitting in a good yogic posture you could also close your eyes focusing at the brow point and let's begin with a deep inhale first and full exhale and begin inhaling for five seconds exhaling for five seconds and comfortably suspending your breath between 10 to 15 seconds relaxing your diaphragm relaxing your abdominals and continue in this way Continue to follow your breath.
and make this your last cycle. And then take a deep inhale. Suspend the breath with the root lock. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Again, suspend the breath, pull the root lock, hold the gaze to the third eye. Exhale. Last time, deep inhale. Shake the arms. Shake the spine. Shake the knees. Shake the shoulders. Exhale. Staying in this meditative space. And just go within. Let's take a deep inhale together and full exhale. One more time, deep inhale and full exhale. And when you're ready, you could open your eyes. <clears throat> so here we are, completed week three. And uh, just invite you to assess the beliefs that you have. Maybe you were raised with them. Maybe you've got them somewhere, you know. Uh, things like you are what you eat. <laughs> um, beauty shines from the inside. You know, those are the things I sit with. And uh, I kind of just reassess if those statements, if those sayings have truth in them. And uh, it's, it's an individual truth. It's an individual truth. It's, it's your truth because there is an individual truth, circumstantial truth, and then there's universal truth. And so you have to explore that for yourself or whatever else comes up for you. Um, I would be curious to know what kind of things you've realized about yourself on this journey, uh, what kind of things you've discovered about yourself um, that you're sitting with. Um, yesterday I was talking to my friend and I, uh, was mentioning that one of the things I'm sitting with as a, uh, I would say ignorant, uh, person is the whole, um, transgender, LGBTQAI, or whatever the acronyms are, it just shows that I don't know, um, and uh, I would like to explore that more. I would like to explore, um, you know, what, what it's like, what, what it's like, um, and try to support the community and support, um, support that movement that's happening in the world. So it, it started out with just discussion with my children and see what they know. Sometimes our children know more or have a perception that is not tainted by you know society and so it, i think and i feel that i opened up the door i also believe that if i'm genuinely curious about something the universe will flood my awareness uh, with the information that would be appropriate and of course i have to sift through it and see what i resonate with and what i don't um, but that's just my latest curiosity and realization that I'm not um, so aware of this group of people or the lifestyle. Um, and, I'm, and I'm curious. I'm curious to learn more. I tell you what shocked me is um, I was, I, someone told me the statistics of how many... Um, transgender people get murdered in one year and that number just really shocked me and so 
it didn't feel good n not knowing that uh, that there is so much um, harm being done to to people um, just just based on their choices so uh, that's what I'm sitting with amongst other things so let's seal our practice with one long sat nam inhaling deeply exhale inhale deep so Satnam, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, from all the chambers of my heart for participating in this challenge, for listening to me babble, and uh, I will see you tomorrow, Monday, at 10 a.m., 10 a.m., and we begin our week four. Enjoy your weekend.